and welcome to my channel's first technique tutorial. We'll be focusing on feet and leg technique in our rhythm and Latin dances. These techniques will help you achieve an even better workout. But if you're looking for a workout today, check one of my previous workout videos. We're keeping things fresh here, so don't forget to subscribe so you stay in the loop. Check out the description below for details on how you can help support the production of these amazing videos. To get started, we're going to focus on footwork. So footwork is about the action of the feet as they take steps. The beauty about all of these rhythm dances that we do in class, rumba, cha-cha, isco swing, bachata, salsa, ball flat is the overall action that we use. What that means is, as when I take a step forward, the first part of my foot that's stepping onto that slow is going to be the ball of the foot and then the heel can lower down. And that's the same for when I take a forward step or side step. Now my right foot's gonna go to the side and as I do, again, the first part of my foot to make contact on where I want to change weight is gonna be the ball of the foot and then the heel can go down. So it's definitely a two-part process where you can feel the ball of your foot and then rolling through the full length of your foot to eventually when the heel takes your full weight. So that's the first tip that we're going to focus on today. Second tip, we'd like to have a little bit of a V shape so your heels come together and your toes go a little bit outward. You can see I've started here with my heels together, toes apart. And again, now I'm going to try and step forward, ball flat first. And I'm, going to I'm going to keep my toes outward. So it's a little bit of an angle here. And then the heel can settle. Same thing over here on this side. So I'm trying to maintain that nice little V shape. Heel goes down, collect, heels together. So you can see very clearly that's a nice V there. And then the heel goes down, ball flat, going back, trying to maintain that nice V all the way through collect. Hooray! We did it! My next favorite tip, especially in regards to balance and control, is making sure that our feet stay connected to the floor even before we make that weight transfer. I'm going to prepare for my first step. Now from point A of where I'm currently standing to point B, I'm going to make sure my foot stays in contact with the floor. That piece of the foot that stays in contact with the floor is that ball of the foot. So I'm going to slide it forward, making sure contact is there. Heel goes down. Now I'm going to slide again from point A of where my right foot is back to the side step here, making sure that I um, track the floor. So you can see the dance itself becomes a lot more balanced and controlled because you're not dancing on one foot at any point. Tip number four, we're going to talk about where your weight is on your feet. Your weight can be on the inside part of your feet, it could be on the middle part of the length of the foot or the outside part. Now we want to be careful not to get to the outside part of our feet because that's where really uncomfortable things can happen with your ankle. Think like big toe and second toe area so that you keep your balance centered. So again, we'll start with our box just to kind of practice that and try and be conscious of where your body weight is. So again, I'm going to step forward, making sure I stay on the inside part of my foot. Take a side step, making sure that I don't roll to the outside edge of my foot. Collect, same thing going backwards. I stay on the inside part of my foot. Side step, collect. Lovely. And notice now my foot looks almost sickled. So I have my ankle bending outwards when I take that step forward. And then same thing if I were to take a side step. So you can see I lose a lot of my prettiness by not keeping my weight on the inside part of my foot. Ooh, feels uncomfortable. Last tip, and it's just in regards to footwear. So as you can see, I'm on a beautiful dance floor at Austin Uptown Dance. Uh, where it feels best to me to wear my dance shoes. I can slide my feet on the floor and use my feet correctly. So if you're at home and you have a wood surface, um, even a tile surface, so using your nice dance shoes works great. If you have carpeted areas, I recommend wearing socks so that you get a little bit of sliding factor because um, bare feet is just, just going to make everything feel a little bit sticky. All right, we're going to try our rumba basic box with a little bit of music. Left foot forward. Remember your tips. 
Fall flat. We got our nice little V shape with our heels coming together, toes apart. Make sure you're sliding on the floor. Okay, so our next pointer it has to do with our leg action. And we're going to talk about how we use a bent to straight leg action using our rumba box to demonstrate that. So when I take my step forward, I'm going to start off with a nice bent leg on my left foot here. And then as I take weight, I'm going to straighten. Now I'm going to take that right foot to the side. And then I'm going to straighten, collect. We're going to switch. Now I have a straight left leg, bent right leg. Now I'm going to step back. I've got my straight right leg, bent left leg. Take it side, switch, collect. In our workout videos, if you haven't been there yet, check them out. There's this great stretching exercise. I have my heels together, toes turned out, and I take my one leg straight and my bent leg forward. And I really want to try and get a sensation of what that stretch feels like on the back side of that straight leg. Again, here trying to stretch that leg straight, my right leg straight and my left leg bent. Very good. Okay. So, and I know I'm using Rumba, but don't forget to try and apply some of these tips amongst the other dances as well. So remember, it's a bent to straight leg action. Amazing. Okay, so now we're going to move into cha-cha so I can show you some varieties there. So I'm going to do my cha-cha basic here. I'm going to take a side step. I'm going to do my rock back and replace. Now here, a couple different tips. So you can either have a straight leg action here, or you can have a bent leg action here. This is where you check with your teacher to make sure um, that you're applying it correctly and how they want you to. So you step back, replace. We got cha, collect, cha. So I got some nice straight legs here on that side of the basic. And again, same thing on this forward rock. So either you can take your leg through and have this nice press line, or you can have a straight leg as well and then rock back. So we got side together, side, and then I like to keep a nice straight leg there, side together, side, and then straight leg over here as well. So we're going to try our cha-cha basic, thinking about our legs especially, to a little bit of music. Okay. Start off to the side, left foot, here we go. Remember you're trying to focus in on whether you keep a nice straight leg on your brakes, or if you do a, a little bit more bent leg. Nice job. Okay, so I'm going to do it facing the other direction too, so you can see from the back. technique video. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss the next technique or workout video. Thank you for considering donating to help support the channel. See you next time.